Now let us discuss about Archimedes principle. Archimedes principle says that the weight of liquid displaced is equal to the buoyant force exerted by the water on the body. Now, let us derive this equation. How this happens? Let us say there is a fluid at rest and a body is completely immersed. Area of cross section is A, right? Height is H. There will be a force acting upwards from here, right? F2. There will be a force exerting, exerted by F1, uh, sorry, exerted by water above this surface, which will be equal to F1. Now, this force F1 will be given by what? F1 will be given by, let us say this is X and this is H. So, F1 will be given by X, H, Rho, G, A. How? A is the area of cross section, right? <clears throat> a into H will be the, uh, A into H will be the volume, right? Now, sorry, not H, it will be X. X is the height of the water. A is the cross section of this body. Rho is the density of water. So, this will be the weight of water above it and that weight will be the force exerted downwards. Now, force exerted from down, which is buoyant force, net buoyant force will be calculated F2 minus F1. This will be equal to X plus H rho G A, right? And if we want to calculate the uh, volume of the water over here, it will be A into H. This, uh, this body, if it was not there, there had been water, right? That water would have, uh, would have been A into H, right? And that has, uh, density is rho, right? G is the acceleration due to gravity. Then this is what? This is the weight of water displaced by this body. Now, F2 minus F1 is equal to X plus H rho G A minus X rho G A which is nothing but equal to H rho G A which is equal to W. Hence it is proved that weight of water displaced by the body is equal to the net buoyant force exerted by the liquid on the body. Right. Now, if this is the Archimedes principle, let us derive that what is the net weight of the object now. F is the uh, force exerted on the body, W is the true weight, then total net weight will be W minus F, right, which will be equal to some word Mg minus Mg, small m is the uh, mass of the uh, water displaced and uh, true weight of the body is this, right, true mass of the body is capital M, uh, mass of the water displaced is small m. So this will be the total weight, now apparent weight which, uh, which is known as, so, we say when true weight is less than the force exerted by the water, the body floats on water. When true weight is equal to force of the water, the body is constant or at rest at any point in the water. When weight is greater than the buoyant force exerted by the water, it sinks in the water or sinks in the fluid, whatever. Right? This is the principle of buoyant forces. Now let us calculate what is the relation between the true weight, right, and the weight in the liquid. So let us say T is equal to weight observed. If T is equal to weight observed, therefore W minus F is equal to T, right, or mg minus mg is equal to t. Now, this mg is nothing but h rho g a. And here, this one, there will be certain density of that solid also, whatever uh, the substance is there in the liquid. 
सो इट विल बी गिवन बाय एच रो सॉरी एच सिग्मा जी ए वेर सिग्मा इज द डेंसिटी ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर सब्सटेंस एच सिग्मा जी ए माइनस एच रो जी ए राइट दिस इज इक्वल टू टी एम्प्लाइज टी अपॉन एच जी ए दिस इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा माइनस रो राइट नाउ इफ वी वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट दिस इज इक्वल टू वट इफ वी से दिस इज इक्वल टू वट टी इज इक्वल टू एच जी ए इंटू सिग्मा माइनस पी दिस एम्प्लाइज टी इज इक्वल टू एच सिग्मा जी ए मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वन माइनस रो बाय सिग्मा दिस इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वन माइनस रो बाय सिग्मा देर फोर डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू टी अपॉन वन माइनस रो अपॉन सिग्मा 